Businesses that don't give truck driver access to bathrooms during regular business hours would get a written violation on a first offense and a $300 fine for every offense after. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? So the government is getting involved to help truck drivers use the bathroom or restroom at these shippers and receivers. <laughs> Come on now, drivers, come on. I, I'm scratching my head on this one right here. I need you guys to pay attention to what's going on in this clip. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. A new bill proposal looks to require businesses to provide bathroom access to truck drivers when they're picking up or dropping off a uh, shipment. Businesses that don't give truck driver access to bathrooms during regular business hours would get a written violation on a first offense and a $300 fine for every offense after. Right now, the bill is in the House Transportation Committee for review. You mean to tell me that the government, the government really has to step in to force these companies with bathroom access for us truck drivers. This <laughs> government, y'all, y'all just now stepping up to the plate to do that. I mean, these companies been disrespecting us for years. And when COVID hit, oh my God, it just got worse. Hey, bro, can I, you know, you got a restroom? Nah. You know, due to COVID restrictions, you you guys can't use the bathroom. Uh is there anywhere that we can go to use the bathroom? Nah, we don't even have a porta potty. Now, see, the strange thing about these places, they do provide adequate bathroom, i.e., the porta potties. Now, if you guys are brave enough to go and use the porta potties, more power to you. That's why some of these people, they, they have porta potties in their trucks. All you got to do is go to Carabas and grab one. I think you could probably get one online on Amazon, too. You know, little fold-up thing, put some kitty litter in there, and, you know, do the damn thing in the back of a truck. I remember a story that a trainee told me that she was on a truck with her trainer, and she was like, yo, I got to use the restroom. And the trainer told her to go and use that porta potty in the back. <laughs> you know, I thought it was funny at one time because a lot of us drivers like, yo, I ain't going to do that. But, baby, let me tell you, you're going to be stuck at these shippers and receivers. And one of these days, you're going to be stuck at a shipper and or receiver for longer than two hours. Then... When it comes time to use that restroom, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Especially when these companies don't allow you to use their restroom. But here it is, the government stepping up to the plate, and they call themselves trying to help us out, which I feel that they should have did that long time ago, years ago, years ago, way before COVID. Now y'all going to step in and say, yo, if y'all don't give us no adequate bathroom, we're going to tax you $500 or whatever dollars that they, that they mentioned. What, what, what they say, how much they're going to tax you? How, how much? A new bill proposal looks to require businesses to provide bathroom access to truck drivers when they're picking up or dropping off a uh, shipment. Businesses that don't give truck driver access to bathrooms during regular business hours would get a written violation on a first offense and a $300 fine for every offense after. You know what? I think, I, I think these companies is going to be like, so? They're going to be like, so? We're, we're, we, we're not doing that, ma'am. Government. So go ahead and tax us $300. We can afford it. We can afford it. $300? That, that, that ain't even a, that, that's not even a, that, that's like, that's like a slap. Y'all need to punch these people in the stomach, in the gut, make it hurt. $300 is not going to hurt their pockets. It's just not, not $300.
three hundred dollars is not going to hurt their pockets. You need to get at them with the big money. Like for the first offense, yeah, you know they they'll just get a written a write up or whatever, whatever. But the second offense, yeah, they need to get their pockets hurt because the only way the businesses will listen is if you mess with their money. And $300 is not messing with their money. $300, that, they, they, $300, they can go in their pocket and pull out $300. And just, if that's all you need, $300, all you have to do is ask for it. We still not going to give these truck drivers adequate bathroom, though. Nah, nah. They still treat us like crap. We brain their we 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 brain their products, and as soon as they get unloaded, and we run out of time, we got to get off their property. Knowing that we don't have you know we're regulated by HOS uh, hours of service, we're regulated by that. So once we run out of hours, you know we can't move, and we're stuck in your dock, all because you taking your sweet ass time to unload us. Or Lotus, for that matter. But then after y'all get finished, y'all just be like, nah, you got to get up off our property. But, bro, you kept me here all day. And I ain't had no bathroom either. Why not? Instead of the ba- you know what? Instead of the bathroom restroom act, why don't y'all have an act about having these shippers and receivers to move a little bit faster to load and unload us so we won't be in violation of our HOS hours. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, yeah, don't make a sound.